DS66 Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. Oh, that, that was some full motion animation if I've ever seen it. Um, yeah, is this... What are the Tom Clancy games? Are they first-person shooters? I think? And if that's the case, this is going to be unpleasant. So let's, let's head to this. Oh yeah, this. Oh, another game that lets you individually disable the backlights. Oh, the menus are laggy. That's fantastic. This game is already unpleasant. Look at those languages. This is, I believe, the European version. So, there you go. Let's, let's, we don't need training. Let's just start a new game. Oh, that's so tiny. That's so tiny. Did they expect me to read that? I'm not reading that. Oh, that, it's, it's a beautiful frame rate and everything already. One time in high school, uh, every year in high school we would have required required reading, which was usually like a school-wide thing. And then one year they had the brilliant idea, because we had academies at our high school, which is basically the equivalent of choosing a major. So I was in the IT academy. Um, and so they broke up the reading books by academy. So everyone in the IT Academy got the same assigned reading. And so our teacher gave us a Tom Clancy book. It was not educational. I'll go ahead and say that. We had a quiz to determine whether or not we had read the book. And I think we might have held some half-hearted dialogue discussion thing a Socratic circle seminar what are they called whatever about the book uh, I did not read the book I downloaded an audiobook of an abridged audiobook and I listened to that at like 1.5 times speed oh, saving I did not pay attention to any of that story just now, but oh man, this frame rate really is unpleasant. Like, this control scheme is already kind of bad, especially since I don't have that little thumb stylus thing, but like, this sort of analog motion, that's fine. Like, this could be okay. But the frame rate just really makes this incredibly, incredibly unpleasant to play. Jump is mapped to X. Keep in mind, I also have to use, like, my right thumb to use this little thing in the middle. And you actually... Like, why is it freezing like this? Yeah, if you go... If you go too far, it... Wow. But, <sighs> interact, please. How do I interact? The Y button. No, that's not the Y button, that's the X button. This is not an all around pleasant experience, I'll say. Oh, the camera does sort of auto rotate, so I guess you don't constantly have to be finagling with the camera. But once it gets to the shooting, as I'm assuming this game's gonna have some of that shooting in it. What's the little thing that pops up on the touchscreen? I barely have a chance to read it. Or even acknowledge what it is. Whoa, this, this is a little unpleasant to control here. Okay, I'm gonna have to use the camera here, and oh, it just lags up like crazy. This is. Not a pleasant video game, one bit. Why am I sneaking? Do I hit a sneak button? I didn't know there was a sneak button. I hope this isn't a stealth game. You know how I feel about those. Oh man, why? 
Okay, I'm guessing the lights flickering is supposed to be in effect. This just takes me back where I was. That's... Oh, <laughs> I, I hit the jump button, expecting him to drop down, and instead he does this little number. Let's... Okay, the B button drops him down. That light flickering. Oh, there's, there's like a door there. Is this... Why does he keep crouching? Did I accidentally enter stealth? I can do this! Oh, man! This makes it run even worse. Going into, like, this night vision mode. Ah, oh, then the sound effects get all awful. Can I get out a gun and shoot my gun? Oh, I can! I can actually shoot my gun. Pew, pew! 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 Pew, 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 pew! pew. Again, the frame rate is still awful, but if it weren't, this would, this wouldn't be terrible. I mean, this this is kind of fun. Pew pew pew. Uh, put the gun away, please. Oops, I don't want that. And then we can do like heat vision mode. I mean, I guess you're not supposed to play the game like this, but the frame rate. Oh, that's. really something. Ooh, look at this. You'd think the frame rate would be nice here. Yeah, there's very few polygons on the screen. But no. It's it's still pretty unpleasant. This game's also pretty dark. Keep in mind I'm playing this on an original DS. And like looking at the DS's screen, if I'm not looking at it straight on any sort of angle, I cannot see what's happening on the screen. So I'm playing this game by looking at the feed on my monitor coming from the capture card, which is at least a little bit more pleasant than playing it on the actual DS. Which is poor design, I'll say. If you'll recall the uh, Gen 3 Pokemon games, they had that. So like, why is a save point like halfway Whatever. Yes, I would like to save. Right. Oh, there's a little, there's a baddie on my radar. I'm going to get my gun out. I walk really slowly when I've got my gun out. I shouldn't have taken my gun out. I'm going to put my gun away. Oh, a lock picking minigame, really? I pick up the other thing? No. Oh yeah, no, you know, you're not supposed to, that's the thing that turns, this aligns the pins, which, yeah, like that, and the other thing, the other thing turns the lock. Oh, hello. You don't seem very threatened. Pew pew. I guess the A button ducks, that's how I, that's why I was ducking all that time. Can I interact with this? No. Oh no, that's... Does that guy have a heat signature? Yeah, he does. I wonder if I wait here for long enough, since he's dead, if he's gonna start, like, cooling down. Oh wait, is he actually? Oh wow, I was joking. I didn't expect this game would actually do that. But it it totally is. Wow. That was just a joke. I'm kind of a little more impressed. Now now I just want to sit here until he's cold. There you go. I guess it's not going to get much colder. That is a man that I killed. His buddies are not going to find him with their thermal camera now. That's for sure. They will find me, though. I'm, I'm still very much alive. That's, that's pretty cool. 
I was afraid that was going to be another lock picking in the game. I should use my optic cable. Is that in my inventory? No. Wait, what? Sticky cam. That's not what I want, is it? How do I use optic cable? Is this optic cable? Wait, interact. Optic cable. Oh, like a menu pop. What? You hold the button and a menu pops up. I didn't even acknowledge that. Optic cable. Oh, I see. So this is this is the optic cable view. Cool. I don't know why I'm in that mode. Like how the optic cable also has a thermal camera. It's very fancy. I I really don't know what this mode is. Is it the camera? Can I take pictures? No. Can I shoot through the door? How, how do I back out of optic cable? There we go. I, f I forget what he said I had to do. No, I, that's not what I had to do. That that was me mispressing the button. I should use my optic cable. What if I bash the door? I could have just done that without using the optic cable, but... Hey, the optic cable's cooler. Can I move this thing? Well... I'm stuck. Uh, this has been DS66, Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell. It seems alright if it weren't for this frame rate issue that a lot of these um, 3D DS games are gonna have. And indeed, some 3D 3DS games have. In fact, video games in general on consoles have this issue of frame rate but it's really only on these portable systems and on old things like the N64 like Conker's Bad Fur Day on the N64 is just unpleasant experience like 30 FPS game that's no problem occasional frame dip that's fine a game that runs like this though I don't know if I could handle this for an entire game. So I will see you next game, next time, hopefully with a game that runs a little better. Can I get him into cool pose? No, the lighting doesn't seem to really... There we go. See you next time. <laughs>